What is social Darwinism? Social Darwinism is the study and implementation of various pseudoscientific theories and societal practices that purport to apply biological concepts of natural selection and survival of the fittest to sociology, economics and politics. Social Darwinists believe that the strong should see their wealth and power increase, while the weak should see their wealth and power decrease. Social Darwinist definitions of the strong and the weak vary, and differ on the precise mechanisms that reward strength and punish weakness. Many such views stress competition between individuals in laissez-faire capitalism, while others, emphasizing struggle between national or racial groups, support eugenics, racism, imperialism and or fascism. Social Darwinism declined in popularity following World War I, and its purportedly scientific claims were largely discredited by the end of World War II, partially due to its association with Nazism and due to a growing scientific consensus that eugenics and scientific racism were groundless. References to social Darwinism since have usually been pejorative. Some groups, including creationists such as William Jennings Bryan, argued social Darwinism is a logical consequence of Darwinism. Darwinism, developed by Charles Darwin, is a theory of biological evolution stating that species evolve through natural selection of small, inherited variations that improve an individual's ability to compete, survive, and reproduce. The term was coined by Thomas Henry Huxley in 1860. Academics such as Steven Pinker have argued this is a fallacy of appeal to nature. While most scholars recognize historical links between the popularization of Darwin's theory and forms of social Darwinism, they maintain that social Darwinism is not a necessary consequence of the principles of biological evolution. Social Darwinism is generally accepted to be a pseudoscience. Scholars debate the extent to which the various social Darwinist ideologies reflect Charles Darwin's own views on human social and economic issues. His writings have passages that can be interpreted as opposing aggressive individualism, while other passages appear to promote it. Darwin's early evolutionary views and his opposition to slavery ran counter to many of the claims that social Darwinists would eventually make about the mental capabilities of the poor and indigenous peoples in the European colonies. After publication of On the Origin of Species in 1859, one strand of Darwin's followers argued natural selection ceased to have any noticeable effect on humans once organized societies had been formed. However, some scholars argue Darwin's view gradually changed and came to incorporate views from other theorists such as Herbert Spencer. Spencer published his Lamarckian evolutionary ideas about society before Darwin first published his hypothesis in 1859. Spencer supported laissez-faire capitalism on the basis of his Lamarckian belief that struggle for survival spurred self-improvement which could be inherited. A proponent in Germany was Ernst Haeckel, who popularized Darwin's thought and his personal interpretation of it, and used to contribute to a new creed, the monist movement. The term, Darwinism, was coined by Thomas Henry Huxley in 1861 to describe various evolutionary concepts without strictly adhering to Charles Darwin's natural selection theory. Social Darwinism first appeared in Joseph Fisher's 1877 article, critiquing a misinterpretation of Irish land tenure. Despite its name, Social Darwinism is more associated with Herbert Spencer, Thomas Malthus, and Francis Galton. Richard Hofstadter popularized the term in the US in 1944 to criticize fascist ideologies, depicting social Darwinism as a constructed concept rather than a direct consequence of Darwin's work. The term has varied and often conflicting definitions, leading to its inconsistent application in political and social theories, and it has been used pejoratively by critics. Historically, social Darwinism has been misused to justify Western colonialism and the idea of survival of the fittest in social contexts. This misinterpretation supported controversial policies like those promoted by Winston Churchill, who used it to advocate for eugenics. Some proponents for social Darwinism were Herbert Spencer, Malthus, Francis Galton, Darwin's cousin and Nietzsche. Herbert Spencer's ideas were influenced by Thomas Malthus and Charles Darwin. He published key works on evolution before Darwin's On the Origin of Species was released. Spencer compared society to a living organism, evolving in complexity similarly to biological organisms. Spencer's views on cosmic evolution align more with Lamarck and Comte than with Darwin. He believed culture and education could drive a form of Lamarckism, and he supported private charity. However, his social Darwinism legacy was less compassionate. Malthus' ideas on population growth influenced social Darwinists, though his own work wasn't classified as such. His theories suggested that overpopulation would lead to starvation, a concept embraced by later social Darwinists. Francis Galton, Darwin's cousin, introduced eugenics, advocating for the conscious control of heredity to improve society. 
He opposed welfare institutions that allowed the inferior to outbreed the superior. Nietzsche criticized Darwinian fitness, arguing that sickness and deviation could benefit progress. Hackel's recapitulation theory, combining Goethe, Lamarck, and Darwin's ideas, suggested non-European societies were primitive but has been widely refuted. Early social Darwinists believed in competition and self-reliance but also supported improved working conditions for the poor. The Committee of Union and Progress in the Ottoman Empire adopted social Darwinist ideology. Belief that there was a life or death conflict between Turks and other ethnicities motivated them to carry out genocides and ethnic cleansing campaigns against the Armenians. Social Darwinism enabled them to view extermination of entire population groups and the murder of women and children as a necessary and justified course of action. Nazi Germany justified its aggression through propaganda that depicted survival of the fittest, as seen in the film, All Life is Struggle. Hitler often let officers fight among themselves to promote the strongest, meaning those without virtue. Key proponents like Alfred Rosenberg influenced policies like Action T4, which led to the murder of mentally ill and disabled people. Historians often argue that Nazi ideology was influenced by social Darwinism. For example, Hannah Arendt linked social Darwinist ethics to racist ideology. Recent scholarship debates Ernst Hackel's Monist League's influence on the Nazi party. Some scholars argue the Monists were freethinkers who opposed mysticism and were banned by the Nazis for supporting feminism, pacifism, human rights, and early gay rights. In the United States, social Darwinism was most prominent during the Gilded Age, influencing industrialists like John D. Rockefeller and Andrew Carnegie who used it to justify their wealth and dominance. Figures like Robert Bork and William Graham Sumner supported this notion, arguing that economic success was a result of inherent traits and that aiding the less fortunate would weaken society. However, contemporary scholars and many businessmen, including philanthropists like Carnegie, rejected these ideas. The ideology was also popularized in literature and film but ultimately faced criticism and decline. In Japan, social Darwinism influenced political and social movements through the late 19th and early 20th centuries, largely via Western eugenic theories. In China, it was introduced by Yan Fu, who interpreted it to emphasize national survival and progress. Social Darwinism, applying Darwin's theories of natural selection to human societies, is heavily criticized for justifying inequalities, promoting elitism, and dehumanizing individuals. It misapplies Darwin's biological theories to social contexts, supports imperialism, and neglects social responsibility. Ethically, it undermines equality. Scientifically, it oversimplifies complex social dynamics. Sociopolitically, it fuels oppression. Economically, it advocates laissez-faire capitalism. And philosophically, it reduces societal complexities. Overall, it's seen as a dangerous misinterpretation of Darwinism, fostering harmful policies and divisions.